I get a lot of people asking me how we were blessed to walk away from corporate America in our early 30s. Well, listen, I don't want to keep that a secret. I want to share it with the world. And so maybe you're listening to this podcast and you're trying to figure out how do I even get started on my journey of entrepreneurship and getting to a level of freedom? Well, text the word freedom to 737-777-9909. Enter your information in. And we look forward to sharing some information with you, a proven system with smart overhead, right? That you can do part-time spare time right from the comfort of your home and have amazing mentors, coaches, and a community of entrepreneurs who are willing to support you and help you on your journey to freedom. Welcome to Code Freedom. I'm your host, Eddie Bales. Have you ever felt stuck? Have you ever felt like there's got to be more to life than the reality that you see every day? Tune in weekly, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays as we crack the codes to freedom in every area of your life. Welcome to Code Freedom. This is your host, Eddie Bales, and this is episode 239. In today's episode, I got to talk about something that's really important. It was really on my heart, heavy. And so I don't know who this is for, but I had to share it with you guys. And that is um, discovering freedom through forgiveness. See, there's someone that hurts you so bad that forgiving them is almost unimaginable. But I'm telling you today that it is so necessary in so many ways. It's absolutely necessary. Uh, let Let me read a couple quotes that I saw that I thought were really, really fascinating. One of them says, forgiveness does not erase the past, but it does enlarge the future. And that's by Paul Boess. Um, Another quote that said, to forgive is to set a prisoner free and to discover that the prisoner was you. And that's by Lewis B. Smeads. And so I just thought those were powerful quotes because forgiveness is not for them, it's really for you. Because, you know, if you think about the word disease, if you break that down, it's dis-ease. And so that means we have, um, we, we don't have ease in our body. We don't have peace in our body. And it's because we haven't forgiven someone of something. And so why should we be sick? Because we, we, you may not know this, but many diseases are coming from your, your, your unforgiveness. So, so why should we walk around being sick in our body, sick in our mind, sick in our, our health? Because we didn't forgive someone else of, offense, of, of an offense that they did against us, right? So again, it's not about them, it's about you. But more importantly, um, you know, the most important thing we got to talk about is your soul, right? Like if we don't forgive them, then God's not going to forgive us. And I'm telling you, all the sins that I've committed, I I need all the forgiveness that I can get, right? Um, And I'm pretty sure you could say the same thing. So we need the forgiveness, right? It's, it's so for us. It's not for them, it's for you, okay? So you, you know, you got to put yourself, you know, the disciples were asking Jesus, how many times if someone sins against you, how many times should you, should you forgive them? And they were like, seven times? And, and Jesus was like, no, 70 times seven, right? Like as many times because it's not worth us leaving this earth and then spending eternity in damnation uh, because we didn't forgive one person of an offense that they made. Just keep this in mind. Hurt people hurt people. And that doesn't give them a path. That doesn't give them, that doesn't make it okay, whatever they did, right? But just know that if we were to think about things from their perspective and get into their shoes, we would see that it wasn't even about you, right? They have this pain on them that they're trying to get off of them and they're putting it on you and you happen to be a, a bystander. Of, of that pain, right? Now, again, this doesn't give them a path and this doesn't make it okay, but it still means that we still must forgive. There's a really good movie that I highly suggest you watch called The Shack. And it really kind of gives you a nice imagery of what I'm talking about here. But forgiveness is so, so powerful. It, it makes me think about the, um, the the person in the Bible who, or there's a story in the Bible where there's this guy, he's oh, he owes a debt to a king, and he's pleading with the king, please, please, please forgive me of this debt, and please, please, please forgive me. And the king actually says, hey, I'm going to forgive you of this debt. 
only for him to not forgive someone else that owed a debt to him. Of course, the king found out about it and he punished them. But just understand that um, forgiveness. Every episode, we talk about stretching ourselves and growing ourselves and becoming better. And I get it. You're busy. You're on the go. You don't always have time to stop and maybe read a book. Well, listen, I got the perfect thing for you. You're probably familiar with Audible. Audible is an audio book service from Amazon, and they offer the world's biggest selection of books. I'm talking any book that I've recommended, and I've recommended a lot. You can get that book, and you can listen to it on the go while you're in the car. Why not turn your car into Drive Time University? Uh, and for just for listening to this podcast, you can get your first 30 days free on us. So go to audibletrial.com forward slash code freedom. That's audibletrial.com forward slash code freedom. And we'll also put that in the show notes. Have you ever wanted to invest in the stock market, but you just didn't know how? That's exactly where I found myself is I just didn't know what to pick, when to pick it, when to sell it, all of that good stuff. But I found an online community. I've been with this community for about a year now, and I love it. It's amazing. They discuss things like generational wealth, stock options, investing, business strategy, and so much more. So online community that will support, encourage, and hold each other accountable to achieving goals and striving for greatness. So we talk about things like get money and buy income, but how do you buy income? What do you buy? Well, these are the types of things that we talk about in this community, and I think you'll enjoy it. So if you'd like to be a part of it, uh, you get a special link. It's bit.ly forward slash wealth squad three. That's bit.ly forward slash wealth squad three, and you get a chance to be a part of this amazing community. And let's grow together is critical to our lives. It's critical to our well-being. It's critical to what happens with our soul, right? It's, it's so, so, so important. So I guess that's why it was heavy on my heart today. Um, and, and, and specifically, you know, Mother's Day just passed. And I was thinking there's got to be someone out there who hasn't forgiven their mother for something. I, I don't know what it is, but but it was that that was specifically on my heart. I don't know why. But I felt like I had to share that with you today. Um, of course, next month is Father's Day. Maybe you haven't forgiven your father. Maybe you haven't forgiven your mother. I don't know who it is, but you got to forgive them because it's not about them. It's about you. And this is how we can really get freedom uh, on so many levels. Uh, again, your unforgiveness is attached to some of the things that you have, some of the ailments specifically and directly that you're having happen to your body. And we don't want that to be the case for you. So uh, this is key. And so another thing, though, on forgiveness, though, is that you also have to forgive yourself because maybe you did something. Maybe you were the offender. And you, it just pains you to think about the pain you caused on someone else. But just understand that if we don't forgive ourselves, it's just as bad. So give yourself grace. Just as you would give someone else grace, give yourself grace. Okay. Um, you know, the, the interesting thing that helps me is knowing that when God forgives us of a sin, he throws it into the lake of fire and forgets about it. So if he forgets about it, we should forget about it. Now, I know it's not that easy, right? But it's something that we have to do. Um, and it's, it's no point in us carrying that guilt, that shame, that condemnation. And, you know, matter of fact, the scripture says there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. So look, he's taken it away from us. He says, um, you know, he'll take on our burdens and he says his burden is easy and, 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 and his burden is up. So it's just important for us to really just make sure that we understand this concept and that we apply it immediately because I don't want, the Bible even talks about even husband and wife not um, having, like, like if you have an argument or a disagreement um, to not go to bed um, until that is resolved so that your prayers can be answered. It's, it's so many scriptures related to that. And so I just I just don't want you to have to um, go through some challenging times in life all because you wouldn't give someone else grace, knowing good and well that there was a time when you needed the grace. Does that make sense? So again, this is a short episode, but I hope it's an impactful one because I really, really, really just hope I can get through to you that you would be willing 
to go ahead and forgive for whatever offense it was. And I don't care. Like, I mean, look, it could have been, we can go on all levels, all different types of levels as it relates to forgiveness. But it's so important that you forgive. So hope you guys saw, got some value from this. This is episode 239. And I can't wait to see you on the next episode. Take care. Take charge. We'll see you over the time. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate you guys for listening. Um, definitely feel free to take a screenshot of this episode. Tag me in it on Instagram uh, or Facebook or wherever you find me on social media. I would love to give you a shout out. Hey, you might even get a prize. Who knows? But uh, excited that you had a chance to take a listen. I hope you got a lot of value. And uh, definitely feel free to uh, give us five stars as well as a review. Uh, show us some love and we appreciate you. God bless you all and see you all over the top.